I shot footage of Revision 3's five-year anniversary party with my iPhone 4, and I'm about to edit it using the new app, iMovie. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Gamefly. Go to Gamefly.com slash App Judgment to start your free two-week trial. Hey, everybody. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile application news and reviews from Revision 3. I'm Graham Hancock. We are here at the Revision 3 five-year anniversary party, and I'm here to test out one of the brand new apps that Apple just released for the iPhone 4, iMovie. We're here, we're gonna record some videos at the party and put it all together in iMovie and show you what it looks like. Come on, let's go check it out. All right, we're back at the Revision 3 studio. Now we'll take the clips that I shot at the party and edit them into a cinematic masterpiece. iMovie is $4.99 in the App Store and is developed by Apple. The download weighs in at just over 30 megabytes, and even though the iPhone 3GS records video, iMovie is only available on the new iPhone 4. For years, iMovie has been a desktop app, a lightweight, consumer-friendly video editing program available for free on all new Macintosh computers. When you launch iMovie, you can start a new project by tapping the plus sign. Now you're asked to choose a theme. Currently, you can choose from five themes. All of them include custom titles, music, and transitions. I'm going to go with the modern theme for the party video. At this point, iMovie asks you to choose whether you want to include the theme-specific music in your project. I'm going to leave it on because I like the modern theme's music. It's an awesome track by Phoenix called 1901. Navigating the timeline can be confusing at first, but it's actually really easy. Swipe your finger across the screen to position the playhead and tap the play button to resume the video from that point. You can magnify or shrink the timeline by pinching and zooming. This can be helpful when your video starts to get pretty long. To shorten the clip you've chosen, tap on the clip in the timeline and two yellow handles will appear. You can use these to shorten your clip to the desired length. If you decide you want to remove a clip, tap and hold, then drag the clip out of the timeline. If you double tap a clip, you can access a few other options like disabling the clip's audio, assigning a location, and adding custom title graphics. Now let's add some photos. Tap the insert button, then tap the photos tab. Your camera roll appears, and once you decide on a photo, it drops down into the timeline. Every photo you bring into iMovie gets a pre-made Ken Burns effect in which the camera slowly zooms into the photo. You can easily customize the focus of this effect by pinching and zooming where you want the camera to be at the start and end points of the video. As with video clips, you can shorten or lengthen the duration of the photo by tapping on it once and adjusting the yellow handles. Once you have a few clips on the timeline, it's easy to rearrange them. Just tap and drag them wherever you want and everything will just fall into place. Now that we have a few clips and photos in our timeline, let's tweak the transitions a bit. The icons between each clip on the timeline are transition icons. Double tap on them and you can choose between a standard cut, a cross dissolve or fade, or a special theme specific transition. You can also change the duration of the transition, which is a great way to control the pacing of your video. To preview the transition, drag the playhead to the area just before the icon and press play. All right, the movie is starting to come together. Now it's time to add some custom titles. Each theme comes with its own animated titles, which you can add to any clip or photo by double tapping and then editing the text. The themed titles also have a line for the location of your video. You can preview the titles by moving the playhead to the beginning of the clip and pressing play. So now, without any further delay, here's the full-length video from the party shot and edited completely on the iPhone 4 with iMovie.
Not bad. Now it's time to share this video with the world. iMovie offers lots of different ways to share your video directly from the iPhone. We'll take a look at all of the options and break down the pros and cons in just a moment. But first, let's thank our sponsors. Hey gamers! Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service and offers you a choice from over 7,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. With plans starting at $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they like. There are no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. If you really like the game you're playing, simply click Keep It on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. App Judgment fans get a 15-day free trial when they go to www.gamefly.com slash appjudgment. So now that you've shot and edited a movie completely on your iPhone, it's time to share it with the world. iMovie has several options for sharing. You can export your video in various sizes like 360p, 540p, and in full HD 720p quality. These exports go directly into your camera roll where you can grab the video off your phone the next time you sync it back to your computer. But what if you want to share the video directly from your phone? Well, to do that, you'll need to open up your camera roll and share your video using the options available there like email, MMS, MobileMe, or you can send the video to YouTube. There is a catch, however. If you're sharing video directly from the phone, no matter what option you choose, your video is going to get compressed down to 540p before it gets sent. So to get the full HD 720p quality video off the phone, you'll have to sync your phone back to your computer and share the file from there. So iMovie makes it easy to edit and share high quality video on the iPhone 4. But is it too simple? Should you fork over the five bucks and download it? Here are the pros and cons. iMovie seems to have been developed specifically to take advantage of the new iPhone 4 hardware. For the most part, the app runs flawlessly. Scrolling through your videos is super fast, and scrubbing through the timeline is effortless. Nothing about the iMovie app feels slow or chunky in any way. The themes included in iMovie bring a lot to the experience. They're very high quality, and all of the music, titles, transitions, and animations are really solid. On the other hand, while the app is super easy to use, there is a learning curve at first where it can almost feel too simple. Finally, I feel like there are a few features missing, such as filters like black and white and sepia tone, which would add another layer of creativity to the editing experience. So what's the verdict? If you're going to use your iPhone 4 to shoot HD video, then iMovie is a super useful tool to have. Download this app. While iMovie does have some limitations, being able to edit HD video right on your phone is pretty spectacular. So that's iMovie. Have an app that you would like us to review? Email us at appjudgment at revision3.com. You can also find me on Twitter at Graham Hancock. Be sure to follow the show on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and on our homepage at revision3.com slash appjudgment. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.